<laughs> Hello everyone, I am Super Book Boy. Today we are doing another book review. It is called Minecraft The Crash by Tracy Baptiste. This book is about a girl named Bianca who gets into a car crash with her best friend Lonnie. She is hospitalized, but soon finds that the hospital has its own private Minecraft virtual reality server, where most of the book takes place. Every emotion and fear players have while they're playing the game actually impacts gameplay, how one of Bianca's friends spawns skeletons when he is scared. Bianca is an avid Minecraft player, like most of the other characters in the book and myself. She is curious, but also very stubborn. Her main goal in the book is to reach the end, you know, where the Ender Dragon is, so she and her new friends, who are also hospitalized, can go ahead and exit the game to get back in the real world. Lonnie was Bianca's best friend who was driving the car when the car crash occurred. He is mostly a mystery during the Minecraft virtual reality adventures since he actually appears as a villager rather than a player who seems to have a conscience. Bianca is the only one in the book who believes Lonnie survived the crash. Villager Lonnie saves Bianca numerous times in the book and even helps when Bianca is in trouble in the nether. AJ also plays a very minor role in the book but he is the one who introduces Bianca to the hospital server. He also enjoys building massive bases with complex traps, and his base actually gives Bianca and her friends the tools they need. Esme is an ever-irritated girl that Bianca often argues with in the book. She is very resourceful, however, and she's also easily the best shot in the group. She often tries to fully control the situation, but most of the time she fails. When she is afraid, she spawns deadly groups of spiders. Anton is an intelligent but nosy boy who likes to build traps near his base to kill the hordes of skeletons who always attack him and his base. He is often fascinated by AJ's complex traps which they have to get through to enter AJ's fortified mansion. He always knows what to do and where to find things such as getting nether ward and when he finds a stronghold. This book is very entertaining and perfect for Minecraft lovers, however it has a very dark undertone. Most of the characters in the book are in the hospital for some serious conditions, and the reader is always unsure throughout the book whether or not Bianca's friend Lonnie is still alive, or if villager Lonnie is just a figment of her imagination affecting gameplay. Most of the time, it's a fun book full of exciting Minecraft adventures and interesting trap ideas for her base's defenses. So, will Lonnie turn out to have survived the crash? And will Bianca and her friends successfully navigate both the nether and the end? Read the book and you'll find out. I give this book four stars for being exciting and full of intriguing Minecraft experiences while still keeping alive the constant mystery of what happened to her friend Lonnie. Oops, it seems my fortified stronghold has been infiltrated. I must reclaim my Minecraft piece.